Well, I suppose we could start here. Where's the little door? I will start here, I guess. Hey, can I can I get through here, please? Please? There we go. Alright, we're gonna start with ourself, I suppose. I love this smell. Let's get to work. The lab, SNS Research Lab. Yes. All right. So I guess we're gonna find out a little bit about ourselves here. Yeah. What do you say? Let's do some experiments. Eh. I'm not playing. This is not the time. What a shame. It could be the per perfect time for us for the SS team to come back. So she was my sister working with me. Stop making fun of me. What are we doing? <clears throat> all right, all right. No more games. Let's go. I wish I could. Oh, there's a shadow version of ourselves. Hi. You used to love experiments, right? What's the problem now, little crap? Oh, jeez. Thanks. Really? Getting... Wow. Man, getting trash-talked by a blonde version of ourself. Really? This is where we used to work. Oh, so she was on my team with the... Okay. That's cool. I always wondered about that. And those, like, it keeps doing the flashbacks. This was our secret lab in the sewers. That's right. You saw it the other day, did you? Didn't you? I'm sorry, but I had to close it after the accident. I had to cover all the evidence just in case. Hmm. Evidence just in Yeah, um. Well, we were probably doing some shady stuff down there. In case that you could, you know, open your mouth. <laughs> Things turn out in a different way. At the end, she doesn't really remember anything. There's so much I want to show you. Maybe I can bring back the old Solon. Yeah, we did see this in the sewers. I remember now. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, geez. I never realized what that was exactly. We're messing with a person. Uh-oh. This is going to get sketchy. Yeah, our second home. Here's where the magic happens. You should always be grateful to Harper Corps. Without them, this wouldn't have been possible. They were helping us? Hmm. The last test subject is ready. Hmm. So we were we were doing human experimentation? Wow, that's some... Wow. Lots of things to say. Nothing relevant. Anyways, what about the other? What should we do about him? Let's take him to the cemetery. He's no... Ow. He's no longer useful. I don't know. I had a strange feeling about this last experiment. Hmm. He was somehow familiar. Where did you get him? Who cares? He was already dead after all. Oh, okay, so we're messing, apparently we're messing with corpses. That's kind of a little gross in my opinion, but whatever. Actually, he was just a skeleton. He seemed to be dead for you. Then how did he seem familiar if he was just a skeleton? My ear itches. Anyways. very confused because we see we see a person in a jar but she said that the last one was familiar but it was just a skeleton well I suppose if you work with these things after a, after a while you can you know get to you know to certain certain uh, you become familiar with certain bone structures and things like that I guess I have no idea 
Well, for this particular experiment, we needed a dead body. Nothing new for us. Ugh. Yeah, but this one, I don't know, felt different from the rest. Hmm, interesting. Don't worry, Dr. Walls, it's just your imagination. By the way, we need to go and bring some new test subjects from Novi Hospital. Oh, so we're doing dead and live experimentation. <laughs> oh, man. I never remember to silence this. Jeez. I'm sorry about that, guys. Stupid thing, ruining the, ruining the tension here. Don't worry, I can wait a bit. Remember, you are a spot, spoilt girls of the boss. Oh, we are the spoilt girls of the boss. We hadn't, or we couldn't have founded SS Research without the help. So our dad started Harper Corps. Hmm. Look at all this cutting edge equipment. But they are all business. You know how it works. Yeah, we have to show results. They can't do all these experiments inside the company. It would be bad for their reputation. Oh, so we're like a we're like a shadow core. Okay. That's why we are here, and besides, we're accomplishing our dream. Developing genetic skills on human beings to modify their behavior and habits. Oh, I see. So, why are you working with me on this? Hmm. Dreams, money, knowledge. Because I'm your sister. Well, you know, it could be because of, you know, all those things. Scientific pursuit. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I feel like I belong here with you. Wow. No, I want to create a better world. That's the reason. Well, you're kind of doing some shady stuff to make a better world. I realize you, to make an omelet, you got to break some eggs, but to bake a cake, you got to break some eggs. I don't remember how that saying goes, but live, I, you know, if you're going to use corpses, okay, whatever. People donate their bodies to science all the time for this sort of stuff, whatever. But using a live subject? When you don't know what it's going to do, hmm. Well, I guess all science has to start somewhere, right? Especially knowing the fact that we're doing this with human beings. Like I said, you know, sometimes you got to do some bad stuff to make good things happen. Well, not necessarily bad, just not very nice things. I guess. Ah, Solon. You're like a little girl sometimes. <laughs> what about you? <clears throat> this is your dream, right? Oh, yeah. This has been my obsession all these years studying so hard. Aw, glad we were able to work together again. The environment on Harper Corps wasn't the same without you. We were together on this. And we'll always be together. Aw. <clears throat> but something about this makes me think that they're not always going to be together. Something has happened. You returned after so many years. You started your work on Harper Corps, and there we met again. Correct. I can't deny. I was happy to see that you were working there. So it was all a coincidence. <sighs> I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't say that. Mm. But I prefer to call it fate. <laughs> That's awesome. Your experience at Harper Corps gave you a job, a special one. They wanted to experiment with humans for a long time, but it was too risky inside the company. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if a corporation came out and said, hey, we're going to do human experimentation. I'm pretty sure it would ruin their, their public relations and all sorts of bad things would happen. Pretty certain. 
They help you with money and equipment to create SNS research. And they pretty much set up Solon and Sandy research. Ha <laughs> ha. That's funny. Anyways. But the company wanted human research done, so they allowed those two to do human experiments in a secret location. Hmm. Risky. We were able to work under the company's policies, take advantage of all the resources, and we were in the darkness, we were doing experiments. The company was safe of any kind of rumor. The reputation wouldn't be affected. Hmm. Perfect opportunity to accomplish our dream while receiving support from a big company in the shadows. Man. Then I thought I couldn't do it all by myself. So, who is the most trusted person inside the company at this moment? And that would be her sister. Ah, uh, that's awesome. Bingo. You were on the family. You were on family's business. First, it was difficult to accept they were human beings after all. Hmm. But you always had the power to convince me. It was difficult, but you did things very well later. <clears throat> so I was being useful since, or being used since the beginning. <sighs> it's not. Uh, she's jumping to conclusions. I think she's. I think she's trying to deal with the uh, pangs of guilt, perhaps, that are coming with it. I don't know. Uh, I think we better continue. Yeah, we should probably move on because, well, Solon's getting a little upset. All right, so what's what's over here? Do I get a cool picture over here? What's this? Oh. What's this one? Here we are. The day that changed everything. The accident. Yeah, what exactly happened? I was kind of fuzzy on that at the beginning. That's right. Now, do you recall what happened? Nope. Car accident, I think. Drunk driver. I was returning home after work. said I was going to drive because I wasn't drunk that night. I'm pretty sure you were a little tipsy. Wait, drunk? I was returning from Harper Corps. I see. So let me show you. Yeah, what exactly happened? I want to know. Because <clears throat> we got the one story where she was drunk, or had had a few drinks, and then... We get the other one where she's like, I was on my way home from work. Where are you going, you stupid? <laughs> Don't you want to see the truth? Don't be a coward. All right, all right. I wasn't leaving. I just want to know why you were there. So do you remember better now? That's disturbing. Somebody was with me that day. I wasn't alone. Bingo, I was with you. We were returning from a good party. Uh-oh. And I was driving. Oh, jeez. Well, I was drunk, but I remember what happened. Do you want to see it? Hmm, I don't know if I want to see it. I mean, eesh. Oh, man. That's, that's horrible, right there. That's, that's freaking, uh, all right, let's find out what, oh, man. Good lord, this is dark. Oh, my god, this is, yes, we are here. We're where? This is bloody dark. I was feeling the smell of the screams in my head. Oh, there we go. Much better. Alright. Oh, geez, she's messed up. Oh, man. 
Shane. Oh, geez. Oh, no. Oh, my God. This got, this got heavy. So we were driving, and we hit them, or they hit... Well, I'm guessing we hit them. Uh-oh. What happened? Yeah, what... Oh, jeez. I believe Sinaj just perished. Shane's jacked up. Yeah, Sinaj doesn't make it. Uh, I can't move. Ugh. Why did that scroll past so fast? Scroll past so fast. It's weird. Oh, well. Holy crap. Sinaj, did she... Yeah. After being four months on pre-coma state? Oh, jeez. That's jacked up. So that means... Yeah, you were driving. So you killed her. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's... I mean, that's pretty much what happened. That's... There's no sugarcoating it. So I am a killer. A criminal. Don't feel bad. There's still a lot to see. Hmm. I don't know. I would say feel bad, but keep moving or keep going on keep learning 